Okay, so these are the snares that I 3D print myself. The concept is that on a typical crab snare, some little metal cage has six uh, snare loops on them. You attach it to your 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 pole and you cast it out as far as you can. Now, a lot of times you have to get into the surf to get it out as far as you can. So you're typically wearing like waders and you can get up to your hips sometimes to get it out there and the waves are crashing in and out you know and, and if you just so happen to get some water into your in, into your waders you know it goes down and you get wet and all that so I just thought I want to sort of like eliminate a lot of that because sometimes when you when you're out there and like every 12th wave is like a really strong wave and you don't know when it's coming but it may not look uh, dangerous but when you're there that goddamn 12th wave man will knock you if you're knock you on the ground if you're not holding steady so I just wanted to try to eliminate a lot of that so the, the idea is that with this cannon snare which is basically a glorified potato cannon um, I can shoot my these weights out these snares out 100 yards 150 yards whatever and um, I don't have to worry about getting in the water from, for the most part. So basically how this works is 3D printed snare. This is just one, one sample. You can unscrew the snare from both ends and you just put all your bait inside there, mackerel, squid, whatever. Put all your bait inside there, screw the, the back cap back on. And let me show it with, uh, with the loops. These have uh, six loops, typical. You put your uh, bait inside, screw on the cap. This is the end that goes first into the into the barrel. There's a little notch here at the, at the top where you bend your, your leader back, fits right inside and straight up. This is a really tight fitting um, feature in the barrel so it gets maximum air pressure. And then you basically are just going to fold your your snares forward, put it in the crotch of this of the tip, and you put it inside the barrel and let it slide all the way down. When it shoots out this way, uh, the snares deploy as normal, and this one, all of them have uh, have extra weight in the epoxy inside there. And I have different weights depending on you know how far I can get it out there but I want the sink rate to go this way when it goes into the water so it's got to be heavier at the tip so it will sink down you know I do have a version that has a a, a built-in spider a spider arms that will that are fitted to the to the head which when you when it hits the ocean bottom and you pull back, the legs will hold you in position. And then when you're ready to reel it in, you pull it really hard and the legs, the spider legs will retract and then it'll float out along with the snare. Yeah, I didn't bring one with me, but basically that's what this gadget, this uh, part of the uh, head is, is for. So, yeah, I hope that gives you an explanation. Also, I'll show you the rest of this, this setup. Okay, so let's see.